March 1st was the day set aside for the Trent Durham Area Day of Celebration. The theme this year was discipleship. As I started to think about the day and what it meant, I was suddenly had the vision of Jesus in the upper room with the disciples. They were all sitting around him, they were breaking bread, they were learning from him at his feet. They were spending time with each other in fellowship. And then I realized that was it. The ultimate goal of Bible reading is application. Being passionate about the Word and, and uh, most importantly, living it in our daily lives. It should be read daily if you can. Not, 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 not once a week or once a month, but every day. So we know our story. So we know our story. You're sounding like the bishop this morning using the word story. <laughs> you listen. Very good. The speaker this morning, he, he, he uh, pinpointed on some important factors like it being creative and collective. God is saying, I want your attention. This is the main point. And that's what he is saying, we should read the Bible with passion. And I thought that was great because a lot of us don't do that. We just read it. How do we take scripture from the pages of the Bible, the printed word, and take it into our hearts? Excellent workshop, opened my eyes to so many things. And so what happens when we pray with scripture using our imaginations is that the word becomes real for us in the moment. It was very good. In Judaism, he said, we think of human beings as adults alongside an adult God, and you argue back and forth. You know, and in Judaism, you do argue God. Why did you do this to me? Of course, Jesus was Jewish, though only on his mother's side, of course. <laughs> and He's able to connect some of the past or take some of those more difficult questions and talk about them in today's language. The big story is God's creation and the blessedness of that gift. How did you enjoy the morning? Very good. Was it everything you expected? Yeah, well, more. The session I went to was called Living Stones by Dean Jones, and it was absolutely fabulous. It took the physical building and it explained how the building represented the symbolism, uh, symbolism of Christianity. It was wonderful. I learned a lot about uh, women in the Bible, why they weren't mentioned, and how they're sort of hidden, sprinkled in where they are mentioned within the Bible. What workshop did you take this morning? I took a trip to the Holy Land. With Claire Wade. And it was so fantastic. Have you been to the Holy Land before? I have not. Are you preparing for a trip? I haven't been until maybe just a half an hour ago. <laughs> that sort of um, strengthens you and stretches you, right? Absolutely, yes. Uh, just um, the exposure to something, some new ideas, it keeps you young. <laughs> what did you like best about the workshop? I think the presentation was, was really brilliant. I enjoy it, I think it's great. I think it's larger this year than last year. I think it's a great way to, to learn a lot in, a, in one day. In one of the workshops today, uh, we were talking about spending time with God and whether we had time to spend time with God. And it came out in the conversation that it isn't a matter of spending time with a God, it's prioritizing your time with God. So as people made their way here today, it was obvious that they made the Trent Durham area day of celebration a priority in their lives. Spent time in the workshop, spent time fellowshipping, hugely obvious a sense of community here today. And in that way, learning and growing. They'll walk out of here as better disciples and in that way and in every way the day was a huge success.